Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, a teaching ministry that focuses on God's unconditional love and grace. If it wasn't for Andrew's teachings, I would never be where I am today. I would never have victory. I would be living a life of defeat. It was Andrew's teaching that allowed me to develop that faith. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to our Tuesday's broadcast of the Gospel Truth. Today, I'm into my second week of teaching on a subject that I've entitled, How to Become a Water Walker. And it's taken from Matthew chapter 14 about Peter walking on the water. And I tell you, this is just powerful. This is not only a great miracle, but there are so many godly principles involved in this passage of Scripture. And I've been on this now for over a week. This coming Friday will be my last day to teach on this on our television program and offer these products. So I encourage you to please get them. And we're making a special offer, too. I've been using my Life for Today Study Bible, which is a hard-bound copy of the four Gospels. And this is a commentary that I wrote back in 1985, I think it was. And uh, it's got 1,300 footnotes in it, marginal references. But the main thing is it's got the four Gospels side by side on these two pages. And you can compare the accounts and you get a lot more understanding of what happened than if you just read Matthew by itself and then go to Mark, etc. So uh, we're offering all of this. We'll give that information at the end of the program. So I've been talking about a lot of things. I wish you could get all of this. If you've missed any of it, please go to our website and you can see all of the archive programs there. But this is really powerful. Yesterday I was reading here in Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. It says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Again, he asked a question that really left no other option. He didn't say, God, am I, is, am I mature enough to walk on the water? Will I be able to walk on the water and get back to the boat? If he'd have asked any other, any of these questions, the Lord might have answered him differently. But he just said, if it's you, bid me come. And he said, come, because it was him. It left him no option. You know, you can put God in a position to where you just go out and do something. And maybe it's something that God wants you to do, but maybe it's not time for you yet and all kinds of things. I know that I tried to kick the door down and make the ministry work. And I tried to get God to do things that were consistent with what he told me to do, but it was off in the future. And I tried to microwave my ministry and make it happen now. And because of it, I got into a lot of frustration and had things. If I would have approached the Lord differently and said, God, is this what, you know, not only is this what you want me to do, but is this what you want me to do now? Is this the way you want me to do it? If I'd have approached it differently, I might have got a different answer. So you need to take a lesson from this and learn that we need to approach the Lord and use some wisdom in the things we request. And then I was also emphasizing that that one word from Jesus was enough for Peter to walk on the water. And we have thousands of words right here, promises that by these we might be a partaker of the divine nature of God, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. And so, man, the power of God's word is awesome. And it says, after he said, come, look at this in verse 29. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Now, this is really simple. And I pray that you don't miss this truth because it's so simple. But in order to walk on the water, you got to get out of the boat. That is really, that's profound. It says, when he was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water. You know, there's people watching this right now that you want the supernatural power of God in your life, and you're praying that God would just do something supernatural, but you won't get out of the boat. You won't leave the security and the safety of where you are and step out, take a step of faith. If you want to see the miraculous power of God in your life, you are going to have to get out of the boat. You're going to have to leave the security where everybody else is. Did you know there's a passage of Scripture where it talks about at the beginning of Jesus' ministry that he was speaking in a house and the house was just totally packed. Nobody could get in. And so they came and they let a man down through the roof. But the Scripture there says that the power of the Lord was present to heal them. 
NOT JUST HEAL HIM, THIS ONE PARALYZED MAN WHO GOT HEALED. THE POWER OF THE LORD WAS PRESENT TO HEAL THEM. IT WAS THERE FOR ALL OF THEM, AND YET ONLY ONE PERSON GOT HEALED. DID YOU KNOW THAT THIS SAME POWER THAT ALLOWED PETER TO WALK ON THE WATER WOULD HAVE ALLOWED EVERY ONE OF THOSE DISCIPLES, THEY COULD HAVE ALL GOTTEN OUT OF THE BOAT AND WALKED ON THE WATER TO THE OTHER SIDE. AND YET THERE'S ONLY ONE PERSON THAT WALKED ON THE WATER. THERE WERE 12 DISCIPLES. 11 OF THEM JUST SAT THERE. AND I DON'T KNOW EXACTLY ALL OF THE THINGS, BUT I KNOW THAT THEIR FAITH WASN'T TO A PLACE WHERE THEY GOT OUT AND WALKED ON THE WATER. THE SCRIPTURE SAYS IN ROMANS CHAPTER 2 THAT GOD'S NO RESPECTER OF PERSONS. IF PETER COULD WALK ON THE WATER, THEN JOHN COULD HAVE WALKED ON THE WATER. JAMES, ANDREW, ALL OF THOSE PEOPLE, THEY COULD HAVE ALL GOT OUT, AND YET THERE'S ONLY ONE OUT OF 12. YOU KNOW, THAT'S 8% OF THE DISCIPLES TOOK A STEP OF FAITH AND GOT OUT OF THE BOAT AND WALKED ON THE WATER. AND I BELIEVE IT'S VERY SIMILAR TODAY. AMONG THE PEOPLE THAT ARE MEMBERS OF THE BODY OF CHRIST, PEOPLE THAT HAVE PRAYED AND THEY TRULY ARE BORN AGAIN, THERE IS A VERY SMALL PERCENTAGE THAT ARE REALLY GOING FOR IT. MOST OF THEM ARE PLAYING IT TOO SAFE. I BELIEVE THAT WHEN WE COME TO THE END OF OUR LIFE, I ACTUALLY HEARD A MAN ONE TIME WHO SAID HE WENT AROUND AND INTERVIEWED PEOPLE, FAMOUS PEOPLE WHO WERE TOWARDS THE END OF THEIR LIFE, AND ASKED THEM, YOU KNOW, IF YOU COULD DO IT ALL OVER, WHAT WOULD YOU HAVE DONE DIFFERENTLY? AND THE DOMINANT ANSWER THAT HE GOT, THEY SAID, WE PLAYED IT TOO SAFE. WE SHOULD HAVE TAKEN MORE CHANCES. MOST PEOPLE, WHEN THEY GET TO THE END OF THEIR LIFE, THEY DON'T SIT THERE AND SAY, WELL, I WAS TOO RISKY. I WISHED I'D HAVE, YOU KNOW, NOT HAVE BEEN OUT THERE SO FAR. I WISHED I HADN'T HAVE BEEN BELIEVING SO HARD AND PUSHING. NO, MOST PEOPLE, IT'S I WISHED I'D HAVE TAKEN MORE CHANCES. AND I TELL YOU, MOST PEOPLE ARE JUST, they're, THEY'RE LIKE THIS HERD MENTALITY. THEY'RE JUST FOLLOWING THE CROWD, AND THEY'RE AFRAID TO GET OUTSIDE OF THE NORM. THEY WANT TO HAVE MIRACLES HAPPEN IN THEIR LIFE, BUT THEY DON'T WANT TO DO ANYTHING THAT DEMANDS THE MIRACULOUS. IT DOESN'T WORK THAT WAY. YOU NEED TO GET OUT OF THE BOAT. YOU NEED TO GET OUT OF JUST BEING LIKE EVERYBODY ELSE. MAN, I DON'T KNOW WHY IT IS THAT PEOPLE ARE SO... Uh, INTENT TO BE JUST LIKE EVERYBODY ELSE. WE TALK ABOUT, MAN, I'M AN INDIVIDUAL, BUT THEN WE HAVE THIS HERD MENTALITY AND WE JUST ARE CONFORMED TO THE IMAGE OF EVERYBODY ELSE. YOU NEED TO BE WHO GOD MADE YOU TO BE, AND TO DO THAT, YOU'RE GOING TO HAVE TO... YOU'RE GOING TO HAVE TO DEPART FROM THE CROWD, SEPARATE FROM THE HERD, AND GET OUT OF THE BOAT AND START TRUSTING GOD. AND, YOU KNOW, IT'S AMAZING, REALLY, THAT IT'S SO HARD FOR PEOPLE TO STEP AWAY FROM WHAT'S NORMAL AND WHAT'S ACCEPTED BECAUSE, LIKE IN THIS INSTANCE, THE BOAT WAS FULL OF WATER. THE BOAT WAS HAVING THE WIND BLOW AGAINST THEM. THEIR LIFE WAS IN JEOPARDY. THERE WAS REALLY VERY LITTLE DIFFERENCE IN BEING IN THE BOAT AND BEING OUT OF THE BOAT. THE BOAT WAS FULL OF WATER. THEY WERE IN THE RAIN. THEY WERE IN THE WIND AND ALL OF THIS. AND YET THEY WERE CLINGING TO THE SECURITY OF THAT BOAT, EVEN THOUGH IT WAS SINKING, EVEN THOUGH IT WAS GOING DOWN. I'M TELLING YOU THAT THERE ARE SOME OF YOU THAT YOU'RE JUST AFRAID TO BREAK AWAY, AND YET IT'S NOT WORKING FOR YOU. AND THE PEOPLE WHO ARE TELLING YOU THAT YOU'RE CRAZY AND CRITICIZING YOU, IT'S NOT WORKING FOR THEM EITHER. YOU KNOW, I KNOW WHEN THE LORD FIRST TOUCHED MY LIFE, THE VERY FIRST THING HE TOLD ME TO DO WAS TO QUIT SCHOOL. I WAS IN MY FIRST YEAR OF COLLEGE, AND THAT'S NOT FOR EVERYBODY, BUT THAT WAS FOR ME. AND WHEN I DID THAT, I KNEW I WAS GOING TO AUTOMATICALLY BE DRAFTED AND SENT TO VIETNAM. AND THERE WAS POTENTIAL DAMAGE AND DANGER, AND THERE WAS REASONS FOR ME TO STAY IN THE BOAT AND JUST KEEP THE STATUS QUO AND TRY AND uh, AVOID ANYTHING THAT WOULD PUT ME AT RISK. BUT GOD SPOKE TO ME, AND GOD TOLD ME TO DO SOMETHING. IN A SENSE, HE SAID, COME. COME OUT FROM AMONG THEM AND BE SEPARATE. AND HE CALLED ME TO DO SOMETHING DIFFERENT. AND PRAISE GOD THAT I GOT OUT OF THE BOAT. PRAISE GOD THAT I TOOK THIS STEP OF FAITH AND DEPARTED ALL OF MY FRIENDS. EVERYBODY TOLD ME I WAS GREAT. WELL, THERE'S A COUPLE THAT WERE IN MY CAMP, BUT THE VAST MAJORITY OF PEOPLE TOLD ME THAT I WAS CRAZY AND I WAS CRITICIZED. I HAD THE LEADERS OF OUR CHURCH COME OUT AGAINST ME. I HAD JUST ALL KINDS OF THINGS HAPPEN. AND THIS IS THE WAY IT IS. THE PEOPLE WHO ARE IN THE BOAT ARE TYPICALLY CRITICIZING THOSE WHO ARE GETTING OUTSIDE OF THE BOAT AND BEGINNING TO WALK ON WATER, AND THEY WANT YOU TO BE JUST LIKE THEM. IN A SENSE, IF THEY SIT THERE AND, and ENCOURAGE YOU AND SAY, GO FOR IT, THEY'RE CONDEMNING THEMSELVES BECAUSE THEY AREN'T GOING FOR IT. 
They're staying there and taking what's the most secure path instead of taking the one that has the most potential. You know, when we had the government come out against us and they sued us and I sued them and we were going back and forth over all this uh, restrictions of the coronavirus, I had one of my board members talk to me and he says, you know, if those people were to arrest you, that would be the dumbest thing that they have ever done. He says, your partners would rally around you. He says, if they come against you and fine you because you were uh, not following these restrictions on the number of people, he says, it would be the dumbest thing that they've ever done. And I agree. And that's one way to look at it. I stepped out of the boat. I, you know, again, I'm not trying to criticize anybody, but there are hundreds, maybe thousands of churches in the state of Colorado. And as far as I know, uh, there's just a handful of churches that even disobeyed all of the restrictions. And there's only three of us that I'm aware of that actually filed a suit and stood up against this thing. The majority of people stayed in the boat and just did whatever it takes. Don't rock the boat. Don't, don't do anything to draw attention to yourself. And, I, and I'm telling you that I can understand that logic, but I think it's wrong. If you want to walk on the water, if you want to see the miraculous power of God, you're going to have to get out of the boat. You're going to have to depart from the majority of people. The majority of people are not seeing the supernatural power of God in their life. And yet there's many of you watching this that you would love to have a testimony of, of miraculous. You would love to see and be able to say about how God came through for you, but you aren't going to get out of the boat. You aren't going to do anything that would ever put you at risk. You aren't going to follow the Lord. You wouldn't dare stand up and say things like, no plague will come nigh my dwelling because, man, everybody's going to criticize you and say, who do you think you are? I actually had uh, the newspaper here, local, come up and they took my statement that no plague will come my, nigh my dwelling. And I said, I believe I'm protected and I'm not going to get sick. And they amplified on that and made it sound like I was a total weirdo that believes that it's impossible to be sick. I believe it's possible for me to be sick, but I'm not going to be sick because I believe God and believe His promise. But anyway, I have people criticize me and there would be a tendency for me to just not say this and stay in the boat, stay with everybody else and say, well, I'm only human and so I guess I'll get COVID just like everybody else had. And if I was to stay there and do that, guess what? I'd probably wind up with COVID. But because I'm taking a stand on the Word of God and I'm out of the boat and I'm not willing to sit there and discount what God's Word says and just go by the fear that everybody else has got. I'm being criticized for it. But you know what? It's supernatural. I'm walking on water. I'm walking above sickness. I've been around a lot of people, some of my friends that have had the COVID and I've been exposed to it and it hadn't affected me and it's not going to affect me. And I know some of you think, oh boy, you're you're so arrogant and proud. You think you can do this? I'm not talking about my own strength and power. I'm talking about, I believe, God's promises. No plague will come nigh my dwelling. Exodus 23, 25, He will turn off sickness and take sickness away from the midst of me. I believe that. And I'm, I'm walking in supernatural healing. It works. But you're going to have to depart from the norm. And there's a lot of people watching this that you would love to have a great testimony about God delivering you from sickness or poverty or depression or, or you know, doing miraculous things, seeing people's lives changed and just making your life uh, significant to where it's changing people's lives. You would love to have a testimony like that, but you aren't going to ever do anything that's different than everybody else. I think it was Albert Einstein that says it's a definition of insanity to do the same thing and expect different results. And yet we've got this herd mentality that tries to conform us to the image. And we, we're, we're so pressured to be just like everybody else, talk like everybody else, do this, but expect different results. That's insane. If you want to see God's miraculous power in your life, do something different than what everybody else is doing. And get up and believe God. Get out of the boat. That is just so simple. It's so simple as profound. But I really believe that God is speaking to people right now through this program 
THAT YOU KNOW THERE'S MORE THAN WHAT YOU'RE EXPERIENCING. YOU'RE IN A STORM. MAN, IT SEEMS, YOU KNOW, THESE DISCIPLES, TWO-HOUR TRIP ACROSS THE SEA OF GALILEE, AND YET NINE HOURS LATER, THEY HAD ONLY COVERED THE DISTANCE OF ONE HOUR. THEY WERE ONLY HALFWAY. THEY WERE STRUGGLING. EVERYTHING WAS AGAINST THEM. THERE ARE SOME OF YOU THAT ARE LIKE THAT, AND IT JUST SEEMS LIKE, MAN, YOU'RE, you're CONSTANTLY HEADED UPHILL. THERE'S JUST RESISTANCE ON EVERYTHING YOU DO, AND YOU'RE WANTING SOMETHING DIFFERENT, BUT YOU'RE AFRAID TO DO ANYTHING DIFFERENTLY. I TELL YOU, IT'S NOT GOING TO CHANGE THAT WAY. IF YOU WANT TO WALK ON THE WATER, THE VERY FIRST STEP IS GET OUT OF THE BOAT. DO SOMETHING DIFFERENT. TAKE A RISK. YOU KNOW, I HAVE RISKED A LOT. I HAVE PUT MYSELF IN A POSITION WHERE IF GOD DIDN'T COME THROUGH, I WAS DEAD. AND I MEAN, GOD HAS COME THROUGH EVERY TIME. NOW, LET ME PUT THIS LITTLE ASTERISK ON THAT, THAT YOU NEED TO MAKE SURE THAT YOU'RE LED BY GOD, THAT YOU AREN'T JUST DOING YOUR OWN THING. THERE IS A WAY THAT SEEMS RIGHT UNTO A MAN, BUT THE END THEREOF ARE THE WAYS OF DEATH. I'M NOT TELLING ABOUT YOU JUST GOING OUT AND DOING YOUR OWN THING AND DOING SILLY THINGS, BUT I'M SPEAKING TO PEOPLE THAT YOU KNOW IN YOUR HEART GOD HAS CALLED YOU FOR MORE THAN WHAT YOU'RE EXPERIENCING, AND YET YOU'RE AFRAID TO DO ANYTHING DIFFERENTLY. YOU'RE JUST USING THE SECURITY THAT YOU'RE IN. YOU MAY NOT BE PROSPERING, uh, YOU KNOW, GREATLY, BUT you're, YOU'RE MAKING IT. YOU GOT YOUR NEEDS MET. EVERYTHING'S OKAY. YOU CAN SURVIVE THE WAY YOU ARE. AND SO YOU'RE HOLDING ON TO THE SECURITY OF THAT THING INSTEAD OF GETTING OUT OF THE BOAT AND STARTING TO DO WHAT GOD CALLED YOU TO DO. I COULD GIVE YOU SO MANY EXAMPLES IN MY OWN LIFE. GOD TOLD ME TO GIVE OUR MATERIALS AWAY. YOU KNOW, ALL OF THESE MATERIALS, WE'RE SAYING THAT, YOU KNOW, THERE'S A PACKAGE DEAL AND WE PUT A PRICE ON THAT BECAUSE IT'S, YOU KNOW, WHEN YOU PUT ALL OF THIS TOGETHER, IT'S SO EXPENSIVE. BUT I HAVE GIVEN AWAY HUNDREDS OF MILLIONS OF BOOKS AND CD'S AND DVD'S, HUNDREDS OF MILLIONS. AND THAT'S NOT INCLUDING WHAT'S ON OUR WEBSITE, THAT PEOPLE CAN DOWNLOAD EVERYTHING FREE. EVERYTHING ON OUR WEBSITE, NEARLY EVERYTHING ON THE WEBSITE IS FREE. I'VE GIVEN AWAY HUNDREDS OF MILLIONS OF THINGS, AND PEOPLE THINK, YOU CAN'T DO THIS. AND I REMEMBER WHEN THE LORD FIRST PUT IT IN MY HEART, I THOUGHT, MAN, I DON'T KNOW HOW THIS WILL WORK, BUT THAT'S WHAT GOD SPOKE TO ME. I GOT OUT OF THE BOAT, AND WHEN I STARTED DOING THAT, I WAS THE ONLY PERSON I HAD EVER HEARD OF IN MY LIFE WHO GAVE MATERIALS AWAY FREE. NOW, SINCE THEN, I'VE GOT SOME FRIENDS THAT HAVE DONE THE SAME THING, INDEPENDENT OF ME. ONE, DUANE SHERIFF, HAS GIVEN AWAY HUNDREDS OF MILLIONS OF THINGS, AND I'VE MET SOME OTHER PEOPLE, BUT WHEN I STARTED, THERE WAS NOBODY THAT I KNEW OF WHO HAD EVER DONE IT, AND YET IT'S JUST WHAT GOD PLACED ON MY HEART. AND DID YOU KNOW WHAT? IT'S WORKED. I HAD A WORD FROM GOD. I HAD COME, AND I GOT OUT OF THE BOAT, AND I DID SOMETHING DIFFERENT THAN OTHER PEOPLE. AND DID YOU KNOW, AS A RESULT, I BELIEVE THAT THAT'S ONE OF THE THINGS THAT HAS MADE MY MINISTRY REACH SO MANY PEOPLE BECAUSE IT'S JUST SO MUCH MORE AVAILABLE THAN MOST MINISTERS' STUFF IS. I MEAN, WE WILL GIVE THINGS AWAY. WE'LL SAY, uh, THEY'LL PUT A PRICE ON THIS AND SAY FOR A SUGGESTED DONATION, AND THAT IS A SUGGESTED DONATION. BUT OUR STATISTICS SHOW THAT 53% OF THE PEOPLE WHO CONTACT US DON'T GIVE A THING, AND WE GIVE IT TO THEM ANYWAY. NOW, IF IT'S AN INDIVIDUAL ITEM LIKE THIS, WE'LL GO AHEAD AND GIVE IT TO THEM, EVEN IF THEY DON'T GIVE THE SUGGESTED DONATION. IF IT'S A PACKAGE DEAL THAT'S WORTH LIKE 80 OR $90, uh, YOU KNOW, YOU DO HAVE TO GIVE THAT AMOUNT TO GET THE WHOLE PACKAGE DEAL, BUT YOU COULD GET EACH ONE OF THE PIECES OF THAT PACKAGE FREE OF CHARGE IF YOU WANTED. YOU KNOW WHAT? THAT'S GETTING OUT OF THE BOAT. THAT'S DEPARTING FROM THE NORM. AND I LOOK BACK AT IT, AND I HONESTLY BELIEVE THAT THIS IS ONE OF THE THINGS THAT HAS CAUSED OUR MINISTRY TO GROW IS JUST BECAUSE OF THE AVAILABILITY I COULD GIVE YOU MANY TESTIMONIES OF PEOPLE THAT SAID THAT THEY REALLY ENJOYED SOMEBODY ELSE'S MINISTRY MORE THAN MINE, BUT MINE WAS THE ONLY ONE THAT THEY COULD AFFORD TO GET THE PRODUCT. <laughs> AND SO THEY GOT MINE, AND THAT'S HOW GOD USED ME. I'M TELLING YOU, LOOKING BACK, IT'S THE WISDOM OF GOD, BUT AT THE TIME, IT LOOKED TOTALLY CRAZY. I HAD PEOPLE COME TO ME, I MEAN, WELL-KNOWN PEOPLE, FAMOUS PEOPLE, AND PROPHESY AND SAY, THUS SAITH THE LORD IN THE NAME OF JESUS. YOU QUIT GIVING THINGS AWAY AND YOU SELL THEM. AND YOU KNOW WHAT? I JUST HAD TO STICK WITH WHAT GOD TOLD ME. AND LOOKING BACK, IT'S BEEN ONE OF THE GREATEST THINGS WE'VE EVER DONE. IN A SENSE, IT'S LIKE A FREE SAMPLE. YOU GIVE PEOPLE A FREE SAMPLE AND THEY DON'T KNOW ABOUT YOU, BUT THEY LISTEN TO IT, GOD TOUCHES THEM, AND THEY SAY, MAN, I WANT MORE. And, 
and I, I forget the exact statistics, but out there's 53% of the people that contact us that don't give a thing and get the product free. But then out of that 53% that took it free, there's over 50% of those who wind up becoming partners with us. I guess they're just checking it out to see if it's real. But you know what? Overall, it has worked out good. And I could give you examples like this on just uh, many, many, many things. In order to see the supernatural power of God operate in your life, one of the keys is you got to get out of the boat. You got to take a risk. You got to quit playing it so safe. And there are people watching this right now that in your heart, you know that God has more for you than what you've got. And yet you're just afraid to step out. What are you afraid of? Well, I could die. Well, you're going to die anyway. Would you, wouldn't you rather die following God and doing what God tells you to do? Man, to me, I have just taken so many risks. I've stepped out so many times. I've seen God come through so many times. And honestly, I have lost a huge amount of my fear about taking risk. I found that it's out on the limb where the fruit grows, not at the trunk. I'm not hugging the trunk and holding on for security. I'm out there on the limb swaying in the breeze, amen, because that's where the fruit grows. If you want to see fruit, if you want to see the power of God operate in your life, get out on a limb. Take a risk. Get out of the boat. Start following what God has put in your heart. Man, this is awesome. I just really admire Peter. We criticize Peter a lot because he's outspoken. He was always sticking his foot in his mouth. It seemed like sometimes the only time he opened his mouth was to change feet. He would just say and do things wrong. But out of 12 disciples, there was only one that was willing to get out of the boat. And guess what? He walked on water. He did something that none of these other disciples had done. I bet you every one of these disciples would have loved to have had it on their resume that I walked on water. They could have. The power of the Lord was present for all of them, but only one got out of the boat and started walking on the water. You know, today I'm encouraging you to be that person. The Lord said in Isaiah chapter 6, Who will go for me? Who can I send? And Isaiah said, Lo, here am I. Send me. Man, I am pray that that's what you're saying. It says in 2 Chronicles chapter uh, 16, verse 9, it says, The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, seeking to show Himself strong in behalf of those who are perfect in His sight. Did you know God is with you right now wherever you are? And he's looking. He said, is there anybody that's going to take what Andrew is saying and get out of the boat, move away from security, start standing and doing what I've put in their heart? Is there anybody? Your response ought to be, God, look no further. Here am I. And he'll pass over everybody in whatever country you live in, everybody in that city. He'll pass over everybody to find that person whose heart's perfect towards him. God's looking for a few men and women who will get out of the boat and go for it. I encourage you to get this teaching that I've got entitled How to Become a Water Walker. It's in book form, CD, DVD form. We've got a study guide, and we're also offering this Life for Today Gospels commentary that I wrote about 25 or 30 years ago, putting the Gospels in chronological order. It'd be a blessing to you. So listen to our announcer as he gives you this information, and please call or write today. Learn how to step out in faith when you get Andrew's teaching titled, How to Become a Water Walker. Andrew's complete teaching, How to Become a Water Walker, is available in a book in either English or Spanish, a CD or DVD album made from our daily television broadcast, or in a study guide. This entire series is also available for audio download absolutely free from our website. Go to awmi.net to see all the ways you can get this teaching. Also available today is Andrew's Life for Today Study Bible, the Gospels Edition, which is a parallel study Bible and commentary comparing each of the Gospels in the Bible. Each of these valuable resources are available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. Or you can get these products as part of the How to Become a Water Walker package. 
This package includes the Life for Today Study Bible, Gospels Edition, as well as the How to Become a Water Walker book, study guide, and your choice of either the CD or DVD album. This package has a catalog value of $100, but you can receive all of these valuable resources today for just $70. Andrew's book, How to Become a Water Walker, is available for a gift of any amount when you write or call. We encourage everyone to give because there's a blessing in giving. But if you're simply unable to afford it, Andrew and his partners will provide this book to you free of charge. You can become a Grace Partner or order resources through our website at awmi.net. While there, you can discover more product details and download additional free resources. You can also order resources or receive prayer by calling our helpline at 719-635-1111. Our helpline is open Monday through Friday, 24 hours a day, and Saturday and Sunday from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Time. To write us, use the address on your screen. We appreciate your generosity and hope to hear from you today. I want to let you know that when you support Andrew Womack Ministries, that we also support a lot of other ministries. We actually started the Springs Rescue Mission that is now the largest distributor of food and clothing and furniture in all of Colorado Springs. We've got ministries to orphans. We've got ministries to children that have been caught in the sex trade. Uh, we support uh, pregnancy centers. They've actually lowered the abortion rate in Colorado to one of the lowest in the nation. And there's just a lot of things we do. So when you support here, you are helping us reach people all over the world. I want to let you know that we have now started a Karis Daily Live Bible Study. We've been doing a Bible study every Tuesday night live for about two years, but now we have five days a week. We've varied the times so that we can accommodate anybody's schedule, and it's going to really be good. We're going to use our instructors from the school, and it'll be a blessing. So remember, we now have a Karis Daily Live Bible Study five days a week. On March 23, 1968, Andrew Womack received a dramatic revelation of God's unconditional love and grace. Since then, Andrew has shared this nearly too good to be true news with millions of listeners worldwide. With his daily television show reaching 4.4 billion people worldwide, Andrew's message is changing more lives than ever before. He's expanding the vision through Karis Bible College which has already discipled thousands of students around the globe and continues to grow every year. To learn more about what God is doing through the ministry, visit awmi.net. Andrew has many conferences and seminars around the globe each year. For the latest information on Andrew's complete speaking schedule, visit our website at awmi.net slash events. 